All right, Coach Angela here. I'm super excited to have you here inside of our VIP community. So many amazing, amazing things that we do here inside this community, and it's full of other women just like you. And so what I wanna talk about in this video is the mindset to be in this community, the mindset that we're gonna help you grow into, and the mindset shifts that we want to help you have over this journey to become that version of you that you desire to be, the healthier, happier version of you, the version of you that you love yourself, the version of you that is losing weight, toning up, getting rid of belly fat, doing all the things physically that you wanna change. But it, we as your Fit Mama coaches truly believe it starts up here. And you're gonna see us in here often. Um, we do Tuesday live calls every single week. Put it on your calendar at noon Central Standard Time. You can listen live if that fits into your schedule or just put it on your calendar to watch the replay because it will be here every single Tuesday. Um, and we'll do so much more than that as well too. But here's the mindset that we encourage you to start striving for. Um, you can write these things down to keep handy so you can always have the reminders, but here's a few of them, okay? One of the first mindset shifts that we want to help you make is to me one of the most important. And it's realizing and understanding that it's okay to be selfish. And in fact, it's actually necessary for you to be selfish. Whether you're a mom of toddlers or a mom of grown kids that have their own kids, or maybe you're not even a mom, but you have nieces and nephews or and people in your life that depend on you, you have to learn this one massive, import, massively important thing. It's okay to be selfish. It's necessary to be selfish. And to me, the definition of being selfish is taking care of ourselves so that we can show up the version of us that we want to for those that we love. If we don't be a little selfish and make sure that we're putting ourselves first, we're showing up the fraction of ourselves and we're bleeding out negativity. We're bleeding out things that we don't wanna bleed out to our families because we don't take care of ourselves. So you joined this community for a reason. You realized you needed help. You realize you were also worth whatever investment you made to be right here, right now, listening to this video. So the first mindset shift that I want you to make sure that you have is to understand it is necessary for you to be selfish and put you first. Because I promise you're going to love yourself more and the version of you that's showing up for those that you love when you do. Instead of the opposite, which is tired, exhausted person, unhealthy version of you that has a really hard time keeping up or being in a good mood or finding the positivity in, the, in anything. And then you start beating yourself up because you weren't the happy person that you want to be in a situation. So number one shift, it's okay to be selfish. It's actually necessary. So drop selfish in the, in the comments of this video as you're watching it and, and put it somewhere that you need so you have that daily reminder. It's okay to be selfish. The second mindset shift that we really want you to have is have patience with yourself and your progress. Okay, this is not easy for a lot of the women in this community. We all want results now. We all want everything to flip a switch and let's all of a sudden be strong, confident, skinnier, happier versions of ourselves. And here's reality, it doesn't happen that fast. That's one of the big things that we will always be reminding you. We always want to remind you, be patient with your progress. The slower and more controlled results that we are here to coach you to have are the results that are worth waiting for and they're the results that will last. Majority of you and I had conversations where you're tired of restarting. You don't wanna lose and gain and lose and gain and lose and gain. Being patient with your journey is gonna help you get the results, but more importantly, help you keep them. So put patient in the comments and be patient. So again, maybe that's a daily affirmation from you from here on out. I will be patient, I will be patient, I will be, be patient. Okay, and the next one right after that, the mindset shift that I want you to make sure you're having, number three, is grace. Put grace in the comments because again, we as women often obsess over what we failed at. We often obsess of the to-do list that nothing got checked off or maybe some things did, but not everything. So now all of a sudden we think we're a failure. Wrong. 
you're going to hear this word from your coaches a lot. Give yourself grace. You're making it happen. You are a work in progress. And to me, patience and grace go hand in hand. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself grace. One of the big things that, that is very common that I hear from a lot of women in this community is either they're still doing it or maybe they're not doing it as much or maybe they used to. They don't do it anymore. Wherever you're at in this one, you have to give yourself grace. When you, ha when you have a slip up and you have a bad day or you end up uh, binging on the chocolate that's in your desk or whatever it is, you cannot let that one mistake define you and throw you totally off your path to the point that you don't feel like you're doing anything well and to the point that you feel like giving up and then you quit um, and then months go by and you're still beating yourself up for this one tiny mistake. We are human. We will make mistakes. You have to learn from them and move on and give yourself massive grace because you deserve it. Okay, so grace. Maybe again, that's another daily affirmation you can have. I will give myself grace. Because if you don't, same thing, you'll fall right back into the ugly cycle where, oh my gosh, I slept up and had a donut at work. Ah, oh, now I suck, now I'm horrible. And then you just go into this negative self-talk spiral. And then you just go through the whole full cycle of the spiral while, where you feel unworthy about yourself and then you quit and then you gain weight back. And then you're, now I'm even more mad at myself. And then it's months down the road and the one tiny piece of, or the one tiny donut threw you over, overboard where you just totally quit. Don't let yourself do that. And that's where grace comes in and will allow you to get over it and stay on track. One bad meal, one bad day, even one bad week, you guys, is not gonna kill you. And it's not gonna send you so far backwards. The only thing that'll send you so far backwards is if you quit. Okay, and then the last one that I want to really, really hone in on is be in this for the long haul. We don't do quick fixes in this group. And there's the, another video below this one where you can check that out why. There's a podcast where we talked about why we focus more on habits than we do diets. Because diets do nothing but cause more harm mentally, physically, and so many, and emotionally. Um, and we don't do those in here. So if, you're, if, I, if you join this group, you're not looking for a quick fix because we, we talk about it often. And you know that's not what we're about. So you have to have the mindset shift or work towards it. Because again, this, none of these shifts happen overnight with a little flip. They take time and they take being daily, daily uh, proactive and working on your mind as well as your body. Change your mind, then you can fully change your body. But you have to be working on this every day. So make sure you're in this for the long haul. You want to stick around. You are worthy of having a community like this to be a part of your journey for a lifetime. For as long as you can. Guys, I coach every I coach everyone in here to some extent, right? And we have some beautiful, amazing coaches in here that help us all. And I have my own coaches as well. They hold me accountable and I don't foresee me ever not having one. A coach and a mentor and I and both. Because it's so powerful, the accountability. So have a mindset as like, man, I'm in here for the long haul. I'm not just in for a few weeks of a quick fix to hurry up and drop some pounds and then go back to the old me. I'm tired of restarting. And if this is you saying this out loud or you probably said this to me or initially when we had a conversation, if you're tired of restarting, you got to make the shift like this is going to be a lifelong journey. To become a healthier version of you, yes, you can get to your goal weight. Yes, you can get to, you know, the version of you that you want to be. But it doesn't mean you stop working on yourself at that point. You don't. You reach the goal and then you continue working on it and you continue making a few changes as needed. Because you're going to always need a little bit of change and refreshing. So be in this for the long haul. Put long haul in the comments. Okay, and be on the lookout. Check out the other videos here in these guides. Make sure you know what your resources are. Let's get busy and know this. Questions are always welcome. Please post them in here. Tag us coaches. We're always on the lookout and proactive in here to make sure we get your questions answered quick. So ask them. There's no such thing as a stupid question. If you got the question, I guarantee a lot of others do too. So I'll see you in the next video.